Hey Ravens, welcome to the Friday edition of OMW Now. I'm Will Vestal alongside Sydney Weeks. Today we have stories over the top 10 March Menace upsets and a recap of the boys and girls basketball games from state. Let's get started. March Madness is coming up, and we put together a countdown of the top 10 March Madness upsets. Let's take it to Ryan Atchison with the story. Coming in at number 10, we have number 13 seed Moorhead State taking on number 4 seed Louisville in the second round of the 2011 tournament. Moorhead State trails by two with 10 seconds to go. As the clock winds down, senior DeMonte Harper throws up a final three-pointer, knocking it down, giving Moorhead State the shocking win. Coming in at number 9, we have number 14 seed Northwestern State and number three seed Iowa in the first round of the 2006 tournament. Northwestern State trails by two and misses the first opportunity for three, but rebounds as time is running out, and Northwestern State nails an unbelievable fadeaway three with .5 seconds to go, clinching the upset. Number eight. In 2012, Norfolk State takes on Missouri and Lehigh battles Duke. With both Missouri and Duke projected to have a long run in the tournament, the run ends short as both Norfolk State and Lehigh delivering shocking upsets, making it the first time in NCAA history with two 15 seeds winning in the same tournament. Number 7. In 2010, Northern Iowa takes on number 1 overall seed Kansas. Northern Iowa leads by a hair with less than a minute to go. With that three, Northern Iowa hangs on to win 69-67, completing the upset. Number six comes from last year's first round game between Middle Tennessee State and Michigan State. With Michigan State being heavy favorites to win the tournament, their march ends sooner as Reggie Upshaw delivers the and one, clinching the first round stunner. At number five, we have the number 11 seed, George Mason, taking on the one seed, Connecticut, of the 2006 tournament in the Elite Eight. George Mason misses the free throw and Connecticut has one more chance to avoid the upset but cannot make it in as George Mason wins in overtime and advances to the Final Four, stunning the whole college basketball nation. Number four. In 2011, number 11 seed VCU takes on Kansas in the Elite Eight. VCU was seeded in the first round play-in games after the NCAA expanded to 68 teams. Fans were not even expecting them to win the play-in game, but VCU shocks the whole world as they beat the number one seed Kansas, reaching the Final Four for the first time in school history. Number three. In 2013, number 15 seed Florida Gulf Coast took on number two seed Georgetown. Brown, Comer, with that dunk from Chase Feeler, Florida Gulf Coast is given the nickname known as Dunk City. Florida Gulf Coast would advance to the next round, being the number seven seed San Diego State, and make it the first time in history a 15 seed made it to the Sweet 16. Coming in at number two, we have the 1983 championship game between number six North Carolina State and number one Houston. The NC State tries for the long three and is caught by Lorenzo Charles for NC State, who dunks it as time expires, giving the Wolfpack their first ever NCAA basketball title. Finally, at number one, we have the 1985 championship game between number eight seed Villanova and number one seed Georgetown. With players from both teams tangling up, Villanova inbounds the ball to let the clock expire, making Villanova the lowest seed ever to win a national championship. Be sure to watch the 2017 tournament starting on Tuesday, March 14th. This past Wednesday, our varsity boys basketball team took on Blue Valley North in Wichita for their first game of state. Let's take it to Ben Blades and Ben Whitney with a recap. Raven Band and Raven Nation out in full force in the first quarter. Jackson Nicodemus to Matt Vandersluis for a hook shot. Then Luke Waters gives a bucket to go in over some tough Blue Valley defense. Vandersluis again in the first half, owning the paint, gets a nice layup to go in, but Ravens trail going into the second half. Second half, Ravens trying to mount a comeback. Vanderslice goes high low to Luke Waters, gets it to go in. Waters keeps it flowing. He pulls up with a sweet jumper. Then again, Waters with a jumper misses, but Jack Cashman keeps it alive, sends it to Slice, gets the bucket. Mustang's too tough for the Ravens. Uh, in the end, Ben Whitney and I caught up with Luke Waters and Charlie Holmgren about the season. Thank you, seniors. 
and like obviously today didn't go the way we wanted to, but it was still really cool being able to be the first team. But next year we'll come back hungrier than ever. I think it's a, it's a good feeling. I think we left a good legacy. The five seniors, I think, uh, were really close, and I think we tried to set a good example for uh, some of the younger kids and I just think our program got a lot better this year. Uh, we had a lot of fun this year and I think we accomplished a lot and so that's I think that's something to be proud of. I got a lot of friends, a lot of relationships, a lot of relationships that uh, got better and um, I, I got a lot of great memories too. Um, I had a lot of fun. I think I made lifelong friends and I just, uh, I have great memories of this season. We, do, we truly, everybody says it, but I truly think we do have the best fans and um, it just, it, it means a lot to the players and the players see it and we feel the energy and um, it, being nervous for games, seeing the Raven Nation there just makes it feel like a home court advantage and it, it's, it's really a cool thing to see. Congrats to the boys on having a great season and making it to the state tournament for the first time in our school's history. Next, we have a recap of the girls' game from Thursday in Wichita. Listen to Bryce Lundgren with the highlights. The Lady Raven basketball team was in Wichita this past Thursday on their quest for the state title. Early in the game, Sarah Beth Geldner spin moves off a defender, chucks it up there, two points for the Ravens. Later in the game, Erica Bay, only a sophomore, drives to the hoop, puts one up, and one. Five minutes left to go in the second quarter. Later in the quarter, Sarah Beth from downtown, bang! 26 points on the night for Sarah Beth. Kaylee Kaplan, a junior, puts one up left-handed, two points for the Ravens. Sammy Marks takes one to the hoop, splits to the defender, puts one up there, two points for senior Sammy Marks. Later in the half, Sarah Beth puts one up, wiggles it down in there, two points Sarah Beth Geldner. Mary to Sarah Beth, downtown, gym range, bang, Sarah Beth Geldner, three points, four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Mary puts it up right-handed, it's good. Two points for the Ravens, about 40 seconds left in the game. Sarah Beth Gellner pulls up, makes a spinner fall, bang. Sadly, the Ravens lose 62 to 52. Good fought season for the Ravens. It's Bryce Lang for Game Day Northwest. Great job to the girls for all their hard work this season. Ben Whitney now brings us word from Wichita to showcase the fun we had this week. What's the population of Wichita? <laughs> 100,000. Uh, I don't know. Really low. <laughs> 25,000? I'm going to go about 250K. Uh, I want 500,000. What famous pizza chain was founded here in 1958? Pizza Hut! Yes! Oh <laughs> I have no idea. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. What? Got it. Yeah, nice. All right. Pizza, pizza, pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yeah, pizza yeah. Hut. Toss it over. You got to fill in the blank. This is a Wichita City law, okay? So one must get a permit from the city if they wish to take blank from the airport. What's the blank? Luggage? Um, I'm thinking like an animal. Animal? Yeah, any kind of animal. Take money. Pictures. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. What's what's Blue Valley North mascot? Mustang. What sound does a Mustang make? Oh no. Yeah, that. <laughs> nay. They nay, real good. Something like that. It's more like a younger one. Don't forget to tweet out your spring break pictures to, ha to the hashtag OWNWSB17 to be featured on the next OWNW Now. That's all we have for you today, Ravens. For Will Vessel, this has been Sydney Meeks. Have a great spring break and be safe.